Hey guys, I'm Mega G Wolf and welcome to another Sonic Hack Showcase. Today I'll be showing you a hack of Sonic 1 and it is very impressive, it's very, very special and it's just awesome. And of course, it is brought to you by Sonic Retro and Sage, the Sonic Amateur Game Expo. Sonic the Hedgehog Sage 2010 Edition. Okay, so let's go in the game and this first screen will pop up saying that we're currently playing in offline mode. Now, the game itself, the ROM, comes with its own emulator. Now that emulator allows you to connect online to this database. And the reason that this hack is very special is because as you can see here, we're in some sort of overworld, which allows us to pick the act of whatever stage we want and do a score based thing, a time attack thing, a rings, how many monitors, how many bad nicks and how many hits you've taken and the idea is to obviously try and get the better score. Now I really like the way that the overworld is done. It's actually very cool how it's like almost a virtual reality selection and it has every single act in it it has uh, the final boss and all the bonus stages as well, which is still very, very impressive. And uh, this is where the end of the HUD actually is. And so uh, let's head back real quick. So of course, if you did have the emulator the ROM came with, you'd be able to upload your own scores and be able to beat them. I'm not sure if there's a way to do that to be able to save your scores on offline mode without using save states. But, as an example, let's have a look at Act 1 of the Green Hill Zone. Now this is classic Sonic 1, so there isn't any spin dash hacks in there, there isn't any super peel outs or uh, homing attacks. Nothing has been changed, apart from the way that the scoring works up in the top left there. So if you're looking for a hack that has different levels, different moves, this probably isn't the one you're looking for, but this hack in itself is a very impressive thing because it opens up a lot of possibilities in the future, especially with an, with an emulator that allows for stuff to be uploaded to an online thing. This uh, new Sonic channel has very many possibilities in the future, which uh, I'll definitely be looking out for. Yeah, 39 seconds, not bad. I've done it quicker, I'm, sh I'm sure, but uh, that wasn't too bad. So uh, at the end of every stage, we get this new little menu come up, and it tells us that we've got new records. And this would what be this would be what the online capabilities does. It records what you've got and be able to tell you if you beat them or not. And of course, just to check, you can always press the button and have a look in the top left there. So, but that's not all that we have. Over here, in the miscellaneous section, we have the full game, which allows us to play through the entire game, keeping score of everything. Then we have a boss attack, which is probably my favorite part of the hack, but I'll show you that in a minute, because tucked over here, we have the retro channel. Going in this ring, comes up with a little message. It briefly explains that the retro channel is something very very special at the moment and it will definitely expand in the future and actually it says you need gens and a special plugin to actually make retro channel work so I didn't get that plugin plus I'm using Kfusion because it's the only emulator that I can get fraps to uh, work with and with that let's have a little look at the boss attack one of my favorite things in this whole hack when I first had a look at the boss attack section, I thought, ah, oh, would they be using the levels? But no, I really like what they've done here. It's almost like virtual reality training on the bosses, that all of the bosses are set up in this wireframe room and everything's flashing and it's really set up nicely. I really like this. Of course, with the boss attack, you best be on your Sonic game because you get no rings and no second chance. If you die at any point during the boss attack, you need to start from the very beginning again. And it can be annoying because, well, 
even if I'm pretty good at Sonic games, some of these bosses do have slightly dickish hitboxes and can be, and always will be, a bitch. Ninjured. And after all is said and done, I'm really looking forward to seeing where it's going to take the Sonic Channel idea. It's uh, rather interesting and I'll definitely be keeping an eye on it. And for those of you who want to just play the normal Sonic game, well it's here too. Just go into the normal full game and you have the full game. I think the only difference is that you have one life. So don't die. <laughs> if you're any good at Sonic 1, you'll be fine. And this was Sonic 1 Sage 2010 Edition. I'm Mega G Wolf, and I'll see you next video. Bye!